The squat, bench, and deadlift. The three most common lifts that everyone knows about. And I've been asking myself this question. How strong really am I? How much weight could I do in these three lifts? So we put it to the test. I prepped for an entire month, tested my one rep maxes and see how much they can go up by. Let's start off with the lift that everyone wants to know about, the bench press. It's 10.30 in the morning. We're gonna try a different pre-workout today. It's Euphoria. This is mainly a pump product since, I mean, it does have caffeine and all other stimulants, but it's mainly for pump. So we're gonna pump up after today, after the bench. We're gonna hit 225. I'm confident that we're gonna hit it, although I'm pretty tired. I'm so nervous, dude. So fuck. Yo, if you guys wanna get more pump covers like this, check out the link in bio. It was finally time to hit that PR. Let's light it up, let's light it up until our hearts catch fire. Then show the world a burning light that never shines so bright. We'll find a way, we'll find a way to keep the cold night from breaking in over the walls into the wild side. The hunger is satisfied. You will face a lot of hardships and challenges, but like I did, shut the fuck up. But in the end, you will succeed. I failed my PR, but honestly, that shit just happens sometimes. This is a new pre that my friend shipped us over. I've been prepping for this moment for a month. Also, I've taken, I've literally prepped for this entire moment. I've been in a week so I can get the absolute max testosterone boost today. I took a caffeine deload for three weeks. So today the pre hits as hard as possible. So yeah, you guys are probably gonna see me screaming in a little bit. Man, if you wanna get a sponsor, you better keep your mouth shut. Oh, they're doing this color for you. This content, this content, this content. What are you doing? You're not the thinker. <coughs> There's no point standing around. We'll only be showered by more boulders. Ready your horses on the double. Be honest. Are all of us riding to our deaths? <laughs> yes, we are. I don't fucking care if I puke, okay? I'm still gonna hit this shit and I'm gonna lift this fucking weight. 345 is the goal. If I get above that, I'm even more than happy. And since we're dying anyway, you're saying that it's better? If we at least die fighting? I am. But wait, if we'll die anyway, then who cares what we do? We could just disobey your orders. And it wouldn't mean a thing, would it? Yes, you're precisely right. <laughs> Everything that you thought had meaning, every hope, dream, or moment of happiness, none of it matters as you lie bleeding out on the battlefield. None of it changes what a speeding rock does to a body. We all die. But does that mean our lives are meaningless? Does that mean that there was no point in our being born? Would you say that of our slain comrades? What about their lives? Were they meaningless? <laughs> they were not! Their memory serves as an example to us all! The courageous fallen! The anguished fallen! Their lives have meaning because we, the living, refuse to forget them! And as we ride to certain death, we trust our successors to do the same for us! Because my soldiers do not fight! Oh shit! 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 Oh shit!
My soldiers push forward! My soldiers scream out! My soldiers rage! Up, 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 up! I'm extremely nervous. Today is the PR day. Deadlift 185 kg is the goal, four or five pounds. And I'm nervous about my cut because I don't know if it's gonna look good or bad. I do believe that it's gonna turn out well. I'm gonna go get the David Lead cut. Although my hair is more straight, I feel like it's still gonna match the type of hairstyle that I have because I like it short. I do like this long hair, but I think I'd rather keep it short and it's a bit easier to use too. Like when I'm running, I don't get like this. My hair flopping. This is the cut. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Although here it says, warning, edge of insanity is for advanced supplement users only and do not exceed one scoop prior to exercise. We're gonna be full scooping. I'm going to be dry scooping. I don't want to really taste it. Like I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So let's dry scoop this shit, shall we? Wow, aftertaste, aftertaste sucks. On to deadlift, 405 pounds! Ah! I feel like a lot of people out there, they might not be confident in themselves, and they might not feel the best about themselves, and you know, whatever they do, it, it seems like it's not working out, and they're overall just depressed, and it's like, you know, that's such a, that's such a hard thing to go through, and I think the biggest thing is having a purpose and having a goal in mind. If you don't have a goal, it's very easy to be depressed. You start working towards that goal and that depression is there, it's going to start going away because you're so occupied on just achieving something. Literally, just stop being a lazy fuck and get the fuck up! Like, get your ass up! And be the fucking man or woman that you want to fucking be because if you're not doing that, then what the fuck is the point of living life? The point of living life is living a fulfilled life. That's all we know how to do. We don't know what comes after death. So all we know is while you're here, you have to live a fulfilled life that you are happy, you are proud of. And sitting around in that big shit about your unhappiness is not living a fulfilled life. Get the fuck up!
Oh, he's so red. In the end, my bench stayed the same at 210 pounds, my squat increased by 40 pounds, and my deadlift increased by 10 pounds, making it a total lifted of 960 pounds, 40 pounds off my major goal. Okay, I failed two out of the three lifts that I wanted to, but honestly, that's okay. When you fail, you grow, right, as a person. So we'll just attempt them on the next PR video. I hope you guys enjoyed that a lot. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content and leave a like as well. Comment anything that you can do that supports me. I'd love the appreciation. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys will see me PR and hit the goals that I want to hit on that next video. Peace.